Hey, what's up, Hacksplain followers? I'm back with another episode on Hacking Oz Juice Shop, and today we're going to have a look at the Forgotten Sales Backup Challenge. It tells us to access a salesman's forgotten backup file, and this falls under the sensitive data exposure challenges. All right, so this might seem pretty familiar to you, and you're right, because this is basically a copy of forgotten developer backup. And if you haven't watched that video, I will link it for you in the top right corner. Or you're just going to check out this one. As I said, this one's pretty similar. All right, so we know from the access lock challenge, which I'm actually also going to link in the top right corner, that there is a juicy folder available at or on OSP2 shop if you go to well, your OSP2 shop domain followed by FTP. And in here we find a couple of interesting files like an acquisitions MD file, an announcement encrypted file, and a couple of others. But right now we're searching for a file which could come from a salesman. And if I look at all those, I think the closest to what a salesman would store and post is the coupons2013.md.bak file. And BAK usually stands for backup. So we should access that file. Let's do that. I will click on it. And OSP2SHIP tells me that only .md and .pdf files are allowed. So there is some sort of security control in place that doesn't allow me to download a .bak file. So what happens if I go ahead and just delete .bak? I'm obviously going to download another file, so this is not the solution. So the solution is over here to trick the application into believing that we're actually downloading a .md file. And if I do that, I'm also getting an error because a coupons underscore 2013.md.bak.md file is also not existing. So what can we do? And the solution is we gotta squeeze something in between over here. So between the back and the .md. And this is what brings us to, once again, if you've seen the other video, to a null byte injection. And a null byte injection is written as percent character followed by double zeros. And if I send this to the application, I'm getting another error. So the application right, right now tells me that this was a bad request. And I'm not allowed to send a null byte. So what can we do right now? We could try to encode the null byte to have a different representation. And for encoding, there are obviously a lot of different ways how to perform that. But I want to show you a service or a little tool that I like to use, which is pretty sweet. So I'll go ahead and fire in Cyber Chef. And let's search that on Google. And it's right over here. It says Cyber Chef, the Cyber Swiss Army Knife. So let's click that. And Cyber Chef is pretty cool because Cyber Chef offers you the possibility to put down a specific input, like in our case, the percent character zero zero, and it shows you the output after a couple of transforms. So right now we haven't done anything to our input, but we could, for example, say we need this to be base 64 encoded. And we see that our input string would now be encoded to J D A W. Anyway, we're not going to base 64 and code this right now because we are having a URL and we want to perform URL encoding on it. So let's see if that exists. I just go to the search bar and say URL and it says, well, that was the wrong character. It says URL encode over here. So I'm going to drop this over here. And the way this looks like after encoding is percent character 2500. So I'm going ahead or can actually also click the copy raw output button over here. And I will go back to 
two shot I will delete my percent character zero zero string over here and put down the encoded version all right so let's click on that and we see already that it's popping up so we actually successfully managed to open up the file those seem to be a couple of coupon codes that probably were valid in 2013. anyway let's close this file we don't need the coupons right now let's shop at another day and let's go back to always choose shop and if we look at our scoreboard we should see that we have successfully solved the challenge and if we look below here yep we got it perfect all right leave me a like or a subscription in the top right corner put down your comments in the comment section and go and check out all my other videos Thank you guys for watching as always, see you soon.